Hey Scooter fans, really excited to have you here. So I have the E-Move Cruiser here. Just got it in today, really excited to do this unboxing, check this out. So let's uh, jump into it. All right, have a little knife here. Let's crack this thing open. So I saw this one and I was looking for a, a cruising scooter and something I could take down to uh, the shores. I got my V-set of course and then my Kiwa. But those were more, I wanted to leave those at my house and I wanted something that they said I could take down there and just kind of cruise around. It's a lot of flat roads, not too many hills so wanted something with a lot of battery range and this really kind of checked all the all the boxes thought this one would be perfect the box is a little damaged it came by UPS but not too bad Let's see what we got here it's a nice packaging so far I went with the, the orange, but that was really cool. Put it aside. Okay. We got in there construction guide. Very typical Allen key set. Pretty much get with every single scooter it seems. Must have stock in those Allen keys. Check out the user guide in a second here. Nicely packaged. Everything seems to be okay. So far, so good. Seems to be underneath. It was just trapped on the wheel there. Put the camera down to be able to get it. So just pulled the scooter out. That's about it in the box. Pretty simple. Got some stickers, I guess. And that's pretty awesome. Checklist. I have four motors. Pretty cool, you don't always see that on all the scooters, but it's one of the nice things with buying from a retailer. Cool. So let's get this up wrapped. I'll check back with you in a second. Okay, so just put the kickstand up. So far, haven't seen any damage. Love this orange color. Nice solid metal frame. Some nice grip pads. Pretty much the only thing I've done so far is put the kickstand out, pull this up, and push this uh, locking pin in. Just release that and it locked into place. Go back here. And then I also got the additional handle for the back here, which just attaches on right there. That'd be nice uh, for being able to carry it. Put your foot back on there. You have a little foot rest for the for your back foot. Great shocks. Love these tires as well. Really sleek looking of the aluminum. All right, let's set up the rest of this. So I pulled off the rest of the little wrapping here on the stem. Just checking out these handlebars. Really love this. Look at that, super simple. 
That's awesome. Just pull this out. Whole handlebar attachment on the left and the right just then collapses on both sides. Really super simple. Nothing to uh, screw on. It just locks into place. And then one of the big changes with the 2021 is they switch this from that square uh, to the circular now. So you can have your attachments on there much easier. Haven't seen any damage or anything else on here. Of course, just have to tighten this down. No big deal. But so far, probably one of the easiest setups I've done on a scooter. Great kickstand, nice and aluminum, great spring, really solid. All right, so far so good. Let's keep going. All right, so we pulled the stem all the way up here, as you can see. Just this little locking mechanism down here. So just had to tighten this a little bit and then lock this in. Has a little groove here so you can not pull it up any higher. Actually, this locks it in too, the cables. Also, another thing I wanted to point out is these great cable wraps are very well done. Like them, nice and tidy. The only thing, as you can see, I'll have to adjust that the handlebar and the wheel is a little out of alignment, so I'll have to adjust that. Shouldn't be any issue though. Of course, a couple of things you need to adjust and just tighten down. Throttle, ignition, no big deal, a couple screws. You know, they ship it that way so it doesn't get damaged in shipping. For ignition keys. Don't hear any grinding on the rotor, so those are good, nice and straight. A couple adjustments I've had to make in the past on my other scooters with those, but so far so good. This deck is amazing super wide i'll go into more depth when we'll do a the actual review but oh my god this deck is amazing look how it's huge that's gonna be great and the handlebar height phenomenal great i'm six foot tall hits me perfect it's gonna be super comfortable definitely gotta take this out on the road do some riding do some videos with this really excited to have this thanks for stopping by and joining me for this unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have this scooter, please leave a comment. I'd like to hear from you. Um, until next time, take care. Happy scooting.